If you really want to wow Ms. Megan, then I'm sure that this will do it. So is that something that would interest you, gentlemen? You want to do it? So too. Let's split it. You're going to split it? There are some guys in this house that will automatically just jump to the upgrade, whatever it is. And I'm not going to lie, I don't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. I'm raining on your parade a little bit, so let me know if you want, and uh, we can do it, we can split it, however you want to do it. Okay, so that would be a total of $1,895 each. Bravo to Corey and Punisher for ponying up for the luxury yacht. I got the impression Punisher hadn't rented yachts for many of the 500 ladies he slept with. Wow, you look great. Yeah. Thank you. I'm ready for the marina. It's definitely a marina look. Yeah, I feel overdressed. You guys are look very good too. Yeah, thanks. I had a great date last night, and now I can't wait to hang out and relax at the marina with Corey and Punisher. I'll get in the middle. So you guys ready for my nice lunch I have planned for us? Want to look at some boats before that? Take okay. off the harbor since we're here? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Some time. Me and Corey came up with a plan that we were gonna hold out our yacht surprise to the last minute. You know, we want to get some wow factor for our date, and I think she's really gonna be happy with it. Is this your boat here? Yes, good afternoon. Hi. I'm Captain John, welcome oh. aboard Argosy. Oh, maybe we'll take a look. Okay. Would you like to go on board? Sure. All right. Sounds here. fun. Nice boat. A little surprise for you. And maybe we can have lunch here instead. On the boat? Would that be okay with you? Sounds good to me. I love yachts, and the fact that they rented me one today is perfect. How splendid. Megan was wowed by the yacht, but would Punisher and Corey's dating skills prove seaworthy? What about David? Uh, what do you guys think about him? You know, as I did in my monologue, definitely a bragger. David, have you been bragging about all the sex you're going to be having once the show starts airing? I would say that, uh, that yeah, I have. But you know, if it comes my way, I'm not going to say no. What about the girls situation? He was really saying that he's planning on yeah. getting a lot of girls. Yeah, I told him last night. That was actually my question. Oh, really? That yeah. was your question? Yeah, I mean, he made a comment. Uh -huh. Saying that when this airs in Dallas, how much opportunity he's going to get. Which um, I'm sure is a true statement. You know, you got his answer, so that's for you to Yeah. Judge. Wow. Fortunately, the day would not entirely be spent talking about Dave. And Megan spent time with each of her suitors. Let's go. We're going to go talk. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I definitely want one-on-one -on -one time with Megan. I'm still concerned, you know. Um, there are some question marks about me. 500 plus, is that accurate? Yeah. Hopefully I can pull this back to my favor. I've uh, developed a pretty good understanding of, of a woman's body. Uh-huh. You know, you have an uh, abundance of nerves everywhere. I would like to know more about it. <laughs> You're just teasing me. I think I take a uh, genuine effort in knowing what makes a, my woman tick. Uh-huh. How she expect to keep her happy. Right. Can't just keep buying her stuff, you know. On an expensive yacht in Punisher's brawny arms, the 500-plus women he'd slept with seemed to disappear from Megan's concerns. You definitely know what you're doing. There's a definite physical chemistry between us, and, um, I can sense it. I'm a man, I know when I got that vibe from a woman. You want me to send Corey? And you're gonna go send Corey out. Yeah. Okay. But thank you. You're welcome. Now I want to spend some romantic time alone with Corey. Hi, Corey. Cool. Chilly. <sighs> to be perfectly honest, Corey is one of my favorite guys. He's so handsome and confident. You like hanging out in the front of the boat? I do. <laughs> I feel like it's a perfect place for me. What do you think? <clears throat> I believe that's your cue, Mr. Corey. Uh, Mr. Corey. It's nice. 
What's going on with Corey? Why isn't he talking? It's a nice way to spend a day. Very sunny. Are you having a good time? I am. Sometimes it's a little hard for me to tell. Why's that? Maybe because you're behaving like a comatose oaf. Because you seem like a little distant. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It kind of comes off as like sometimes like you're not as interested. I'm really down to earth and just laid back. I know. That's one of the things I really liked about you. But I just want to make sure that you're really into this whole thing. Are you? I can't say I'm 100%. Worst answer ever. But I'm growing and learning every day. And I'm happy to spend time with you and, and learn about you and, you know, do what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And maybe for now that's enough to keep going. So I tell Corey that I'm really into him and he doesn't say much at all. And this makes me really sad. I want Corey to be really into me. Thank you. Oh. With the yacht safely back in port, Megan felt a tad out of sorts. Tonight she faced elimination and still needed time with her wealthy suitors. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hello. Got some sun. Hey, voters. We well, have a surprise for everyone. We're all having a special dinner together. Right, right. right on. So everybody get dressed up, get ready, and I'll meet you back down here. Okay. All right. Awesome. All right. Megan gets back from her date, and now we're gonna have dinner together. So I'm thinking there's gotta be something more to it than this. Man, you're getting all dudeed up. Dude, I'm on the bottom of the food chain right now. I need to do something. So is Ryan. I don't feel good about this at all. Coming up. You're saying that I'm not good enough for you? She wants somebody that's gonna compete for her affections and be a fighter. And later. Tonight did not end up the way I expected it to. This is about what I feel. Megan insisted on a mandatory dinner, and some wondered if there was an ulterior motive. Megan gets back from the date and says, everybody get dressed formal, we're gonna have dinner together. So I'm thinking there's gotta be something more to it than this. By the way, I made a lovely lamb with mint jelly. Welcome. I wanted to have a very nice special dinner for the eight of you guys. <laughs> you all have been doing very nice special things for me, so I wanted to do something special for you. I've learned a lot about these guys since the challenge yesterday, but I need to learn more. I have a little game I want to play. Words a man rarely wants to hear from a lady. Really? Yes. Or never would have guessed. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna say, who I should eliminate. I knew there was something more to this dinner, and my suspicions rang true. Now it's time to battle it out at the dinner table. Ryan? As far as um, getting eliminated, I'm gonna have to say Al. I just think um, I'm not sure if you two would be the right match. Okay, thank you for being on. The look on his face was priceless. I'm thinking, you're going down. Al? There's no secret that Ryan and I are not brothers. But I know Megan likes somebody that's a, you know, a competitor. And I know that she wants somebody that's gonna compete for her affections and her heart and um, just be a fighter. I like Dave. You know, I don't wanna be negative, but I feel that he definitely isn't right for Megan. Aqua Dave might not be a perfect match for you only because of his location and your location. And so you think I should eliminate him because of his location? And, and the fact that maybe he was ready to give up last night. You ready to quit last night? Yeah. <clears throat> Didn't you just say two days ago that you would never quit on me again? I did. Well, it hurts my feelings that you say that you're gonna stay and that you're here for me and then you say that you're gonna leave and you're gonna pack up your stuff. Well, the fact is that we all have to make decisions in our life that are good and bad for us, don't we? Well, just help me understand what you're going through. 
I'm ready to leave. Why? I really don't think I owe you an explanation. Well, so I think you owe me an explanation. I think that Dave's protective layer kicked in and he realized that he was probably on his way out. I mean, he was thinking it and everybody else was saying it. It was just a matter of time until it happened. So he kind of hung himself. You've lied to me. I don't you think I've lied to you. pretended that you're here for me. And you're really I've here been, I think to, I've been very forthright with you. You know, promote yourself so that when you get back to Dallas, you can sleep with whatever girls will sleep with you. Call it what you want. Do you have any explanation? I have my standards, and those are that. Although I think Dave is a great guy, and I like him personally, I can tell that what Dave said to her really hurt her feelings. Um, it's, it's about time Dave leaves. Do you want to be here? I do not. Okay. Bye. Right now? Yes, right now. I'll call for a cab. Good night. David is just a sore loser that has lost another challenge and just needs his ego stroked so that he can make it another day in this house. He should just stop wasting my time. You want to go beat him up? Okay. <laughs> I think David flipping out the way he did was a little ungentlemanly and unnecessary. He could have handled it with a little more dignity. And just like that, 00 Dave was off to see if any women would sleep with him because he was on the telly. You know, this is gonna get harder and harder, especially if you're all friends. But you're really helping me with my decisions and getting to know each of you in different situations, and I appreciate that. But. There is still going to be an elimination tonight. I'm sure Ryan's going home. He's so cheap, he doesn't have his own identity, and I think he's just here for his own good to try and become an actor. So I'm pretty confident that I'm not going home. Even though David went home, we still have an elimination tonight. And I'm not going to lie, I don't feel comfortable. What up? It's the one and only Al check out all the insanity you didn't see on TV. Log on to megan.bh1.com. With Double O Dave departing before elimination, the mood in the mansion was already tense. But now, elimination faced the millionaires yet again, and the tension would only go up. So I can't believe it. Dave just up and walks out. But Megan says we're still having an elimination. I'm a little concerned. Ryan and I are having a lot of tension. And he's like just trying to get me kicked off the show because I'm his biggest competition. He clearly does not know the kind of guy I am. Going into elimination tonight, I feel great about the time we spent together. With everything else going on, I, I gotta believe that someone else is going home and it's not gonna be me. I'm not sure how elimination is gonna go because on my date today with Megan, I didn't give her all the yes answers that she wanted to hear, but then again, I did give her the truth from my heart. Hi, boys. Hi, Megan. Hi, Megan. Tonight did not end up the way I expected it to. David decided to act as if he was too good for this. It seems to me that he was all talk after all. I think it was for the best. Ultimately, this is about what I feel. And I have a connection with every single one of you. A connection that has potential to be stronger. So, I can't let any of you go. It's a bit of a relief knowing that everybody's safe, but I'm kind of thinking about what happened today on my day with Megan and where my head's at in terms of moving forward with her. You might want to try kissing Megan next time, Mr. Corey. All of your credit is good with me, and I look forward to finding out which of the seven of you is gonna be the man for me. The next on the chopping block's gotta be Al. The guy has just kind of rubbed me the wrong way from the first point where I met him, so Al's going down. Oh, splendid! The Ryan Owl Wars continue! So come down here. Our seven millionaires escape the guillotine, but next time they won't be able to count on one of them quitting. I want to propose a toast to finding love and a perfect match for me.
Next week on Megan Wants a Millionaire. Welcome to the Megan Dollar Pyramid. They'll need their wits. I'm wearing a kitty. My mother and father. Parents. My haircut. Curly. Perm. What? They'll need proper travel arrangements. Window seat. I don't usually take public transportation. They'll have to question whether they're ready for commitment. I have a lot of very important decisions to make. Are you ready to commit to her and become a husband and a wife? And old questions will come back to punish. When I was 30, I was dating girls 18. What guy has to date girls 20 years younger than he is? You were probably one of the oldest girls he'd ever dated. He asked me if I was really into all of this. Hunter's just threatened by me. Why? He sees me as an obstacle. The 500 women, it's kind of, you know. That wasn't an actual number. I got shafted, man. It's the worst day ever. Do join us. It's a most riveting tale. I'm Niles. Thank you, and good evening. Al Pacino. All right, first, <laughs> we're going to start with a little baking lesson. When you get bacon in a box, <laughs> you don't put <laughs> that's not on the box in the tray. OK? Because that's not what the box says. You bake with a box, my friend. <laughs> and you totally <laughs> that up.